All right, guys, analogous colors in chalk pastel. Um, first thing before you get started, please to choose, choose two colors that are analogous to one another. So right now I have orange and yellow. These two are side by side on the color wheel. Yellow goes into creating orange. I know that I'm good. Couple notes, I did not clean this off. This looks so bad. So I'm gonna take a moment to do that while I just remind you about chalk pastel. Just remember that chalk pastel um, is smeary to the touch, okay? So if you pick it up and it gets all over your fingers and it turns your hand a different color, you are good, okay? Um, this is gonna be something that you blend with your finger towards the end. I'm gonna allow you a couple options as an artist to figure out what will work best um, for your fade. And it kind of depends on, kind of depends on how you do your fade and how strong your initial color fade is. A couple of things. I'm going to start with my orange before we get started because orange is darker than yellow. Okay, so I always want to start with my darker color to create my color fade. I'm actually going to flip this this way if it's okay with everybody. Um, starting on this side, and i got to wrestle this card down. This is the hardest part about doing things on cards. Please take your color off onto the table. As long as you don't intentionally write on my table, what do I care? All right. Um, I'm going to gradually let up my color as I go across the page. So if you see more white as you head across, you are doing a great job. I'm going to start to let up to lightest pressure in here. I wish I could get lighter. This is not as light as I would like it to be. All right, this pressure in here really should be lighter. That was a fail, but that's okay. Um, with my second color, I'm gonna come in hard pressure, okay? It's very important that you use your second color as a blender, and then you're gonna use your finger a little bit later on, okay? So I'm actually going to, with my yellow, and I didn't clean it off that well because I have a streak of red in there. That's why you gotta clean it off. All right, so with my yellow, this yellow is fighting me today. I am going to press really hard with it. And it's fighting me a little bit. So with the yellow, I'm pressing really, really hard. And what's cool about this, it's creating different versions. Different versions of yellow orange, which I think is awesome. It's gonna look like fire. All right, so in here, as a little flux of white start to go away, I'm gonna to start to let up my pressure. So I have that area of pure orange, okay? So I have something that looks like this. Before I do anything else, I've got all this orange on my tip. I'm actually gonna clean this off and really try and get my edges a little bit better. Just so I have extra powder there so when I smear, I can smear it all the way off. <sighs> La 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 la. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so this actually looks amazing right now. Oh my gosh, look at my hand. It's like a fire. Um, so at this point in time, my hand looks like this. If I were to smear, oh, see how I got that there? If I were to smear lightest to darkest, I would pretty much screw this thing up. So I'm going to try and wipe my hands on my pants. You're going to wash, wash your hands or wipe them off. Um, just to get some of the loose powder off before I smear. Now, with the other video that I shared with you guys, um, what I said was, at this point in time, you have options as an artist as to which direction you are going to smear your color. Should you smear it from lightest into darkest like this, or should you do it into from darkest to lightest like this? It all depends on which values or versions of the color you feel like you're missing, okay? Do I feel like I'm missing my lightest versions of my color in here, um, or do I feel like I'm missing my darkest versions of my color in here? I kind of want to smear it um, from lightest to darkest, and here's the reason I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose that because I'm not satisfied with my initial fade. Remember how I said it was a little bit too dark in here? I'm going to see if I can smear it around and lighten it up with my yellow. So watch me do this. Take my finger, press kind of hard in here. La 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 la. I think yours is gonna look better. I kinda like this though. So it's, it's coming together. My edges are a little bit weak. I just don't feel like fixing them. But actually this looks pretty cool. Um, so anyway, 
you get to choose as an artist which way you're smearing. Just make sure that your fingers don't look horrible before you smear. Otherwise, you're going to get darker color in your light and vice versa. Okay, so good luck.